so it's nearly had another week into the routine of morning walk with the Gus and Cooper in the bag out the bag in the bag out the bag gets out for five ten minutes two or three times absolutely loves it he's starting to get to the stage now that he doesn't want to go back in the bag feet kicking like a baby no, don't want to go back in it's all about routine at this age getting them into the routine he's pair of uh, taking to him not too bad as long as he keeps his teeth to himself you hiding? are you hiding you guy? night time routine's good I get up in the middle of the night to let him out for a pee there's a quick pee and then back into his crate in the kennel with the boys but he certainly knows not to pee his crate crate training crate training at that age is uh, critical and then we'll catch back up with you later come on you man come on come on in You all know this bit, but I'm, I'm up here quite regularly training. Lots of rabbits are out this area. You be guy. In a month or two, your nose will be down and it'll be going daft. It's not very clingy at this age. Just following me, basically. Hey, guys. Just taking them places where I know there's not a lot of uh, other dogs. Obviously, he's only had the one jag when the inoculation. You eating rabbit shit? Did you? What do you think, Cooper? Gus. Ooh, what's in there? Me? Oh, sorry. Sunny, good boy, good boy, good boy, just take you up there a wee bit and I'll lift you again. Doesn't want you in the bag though, that's the problem. But you really are far, far to be, to be walking big distances. Five minutes at a time, and oh, what's that smell? What do you smell? Can you imagine? Oh, that's, ja that's Jaggy, eh? Is that Jaggy? Ooh. Can you imagine the adventure of all this for a wee dog at age? Well, we did get them from a, a gamekeeper, a gamekeeping couple, obviously out in the countryside, so he's used to the fresh air and the noises. Cooper, you just about stood on them. Time. Let him do his thing, he's not running hard. Everything to do with the joints at this age, you know, he's picked a wee bit of stick up. He's uh, quite good at carrying stuff and his retrieve's coming on. I'll let you see that later in the, in the kennel. His dad, when I was down visiting, his dad was always sticking a dummy in my face. His dad has got a high retrieve, high retrieve drive, so I'm quite hopeful. He's going to be used as an all-rounder. Looking dog. Come on, let's go. Let's see if I can get him to test and trial standards.
Come on, Sonny. Good boy. Good boy. Definitely having other dogs in the kennel. Brings a puppy on, there's uh, virtually no noise off him when you put him to bed. You put him in his crate and he doesn't make any noise because he's lying in the same space as these two other guys. Very quiet, me dog. Hopefully that stays like that. I've had a playful growl of him, if you can call it a growl. He's no barking, I haven't heard him bark yet. Yeah, we don't want barking dogs, do we? Only you pair are barking dogs. When you spare back, you know there's something to be uh, checked out. I've got this wee bit of a clear up here and we'll put them back in the back. Okay. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come in. Come in. Sit. Sit. Get out. Get. Get it. Good boy. Good boy. Get out. Come on. Good boy. No, no, calm down. You tell the puppy to calm down. Excuse the mess of the kennel by the way, it's wet outside. The labs are just outside the door. Everybody's got wet and manky feet. Oops. It's all about the game. All about the game. No, 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 no. Don't make it invent it. Don't leave a tennis ball with a dog. Just end up chewing it and it'll become a toy. 
Finding it now, that's uh, just that we had in my week. Doesn't quite need as much sleep as he used to. Yes, I still have that ball on my hand. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, like and, sub and subscribe. Any spinal advice, greatly received. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye. Cheers.